Hey what's going on guys, this is the Ultimate Dino King here coming at you with another video and today we have the long awaited collection update. It's been nearly three years since I've done my last collection update and I've bought a good 5,000 cards or so since then, so we've got a lot of stuff to cover. Your screen is black at the moment because I am going to reveal this. This is my collection. We're going over everything except for what's in that brown box, because that is my spares, and that will take way too long to go over. But um, we're going to break it down into three videos, and we're going to cover pretty much everything else in those three videos. So, I will see you in just a moment with the first part. Okay, and we're back with the first part. So, as you can see, I've got rid of a lot of the stuff here. We're going to be covering what's in here. So this is just my card lists, uh, there's nothing fancy in here, I've got 2nd um, edition, 3rd edition, 4th edition, 2008 special edition, 5th edition, um, Japanese 1st edition, uh, Japanese 2006 rainy, 2007 1st plus, Ooh, missed one, 2007 4th. Kikitan 2nd plus, and that's it, and then the ones at the back are the ones that I use to keep track of my collection. Next we will move on to the first folder. Now there is a lot of cards to go through, uh, you'll probably recognise these from my last collection update, or something like this anyway. I changed it from the blue one to like split down into these. So. Let's get going. This is my Japanese first edition collection. This is a complete set. With the Allosaurus at the end. And then moving on to second edition. That Carnotaurus is pretty beaten up. But um, this one is uh, a near-ish complete set. It's just a couple of golds and silvers. And I think one super move as well. Nope, I've got all the super moves, so it's just a couple of golds and silvers that I need, plus the Acrocanthosaurus. Uh, this is Japanese third. This is another near complete set. I just need the Tyrannosaurus, the Carnotaurus, and one super move. There's the one super move. Before we move on to 2006 Rainy, this is the only card I need, the Tyrannosaurus. Otherwise, I have all of the others. If you remember back in one of my um, Jaws packages, I got a refill pack with this set, so that's why I've got so much of it. Uh, fourth, Japanese fourth, I'm missing all the golds. I think I have all of the commons now. Yep. And then I'm just missing a fair few super moves. Fifth, again, I don't have any of the golds. I'm missing a couple of the silvers. I'm missing quite a few of the move cards. And quite a few of the super moves. Fifth edition is one of the ones I'm not doing very well on. Same with 2006 winter. I've got one of the golds. None of the silvers. And again, missing a load of the super moves. We move on to Japanese 6th edition. I have a near complete set of this now. Um, I'm just missing one dinosaur, Myasaura. And then a couple of um, super moves. So one, two, three. And then I've got one more in here that I'm missing four super moves and one dinosaur. So I'm five cards off of that set being complete, which is awesome. Let's move that out of the way. Bring this in. So we have the final cards of 5th edition. And then we move on to 
2007 sets. So 2007 first slash first plus because of, like the shattered glass design and then the fireworks design. So um, with this Mega Raptor, I actually have two in there with the shattered glass design. One is the misprint, one is not. I have not got a fireworks Mega Raptor yet. Otherwise, I'm doing pretty well on this set. I've got the Spinosaurus now, first plus, just missing that. Um, your Placephalus and the Quake Saber. 2007 second. If I am not mistaken, this is a complete set. Yep. Then we move on to 2007 third. Missing a couple of the golds, um, Spinosaurus and Styracosaurus. Uh, Displaceosaurus there. Not sure which one goes there. Can't remember off the top of my head. And then again, super moves. Super moves seem to be my weakness when I'm collecting. I don't know why. 2007 fourth, I've got that elusive Tyrannosaurus, which is quite nice. I've got the Ampelosaurus and Pentaceratops in this set as well. Few more of the super moves in this set, but I'm still missing a few. Uh, 2007 fourth plus. We've got the Coronosaurus. And again, move cards this time, as well as super moves. And that is the 2007 series done. Let's move on to Gekizan first. We're making better time than I thought we were, so we may even be able to cut this down a little bit more. So Gekizan first. got the Sorolophus, that one was a, a pain to get, but I did manage to get it. I think I'm just missing a couple of super moves for this set. So let's skip more than one page then. Yeah, one, two, three, four, maybe five super moves. No, just the four, by the looks of it. That can't be right might be right I don't know and um, then I've got my four variants which are quite nice and then just before the end of this video I'm going to show you a couple of other things quickly and then we can get on some other cards in the next part so this is um I've got a few of these something weird that I picked up a while back it's like a drawing pad, but you've got the designs at the front, and the rest of the pad is just tracing paper. So you trace over them and colour them in, etc, etc. So um, this one's got page falling out, so that one's a bad example to show, really. Um, yeah, you can see they cost like 210 yen. Nothing on the back. It's quite cool. I've got three of those. That one costs 200 yen. Wow. 
Anyway, we go on to some of these um these weird crafts books. So this one is the masks. So you can make the um Oh. Ooh, I did not notice that before. That is painful to look at. Oh. It's just a spot the difference thing, but um wow. Yeah. It's got a load of games in it. And then you get the stuff to make the masks. It's quite cool. I won't actually be making the masks in them. But and then we got the build your own dinosaur thing. Again, I think it's going to be a similar thing. A couple of games in the front, maybe, or just information. Oh, it's instructions at the front on this one. And then oh, there was a invoice in there. Then all the stuff to make the dinosaurs. A couple of quite cool items there. But anyway, that's going to be it for part one. And I will see you again in part two.